What can you watch on your TV in your RV? Well, I'm going to share with you in this episode of Travels with Delaney. Welcome back, everyone. Before we get this week's episode started, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, would you take time to go ahead and hit that subscribe button? And also don't forget the little bell beside of it so you get notified each time we produce a new video. Also, you can follow us over on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for real-time updates. And you can check out our all-new website, TravelsWithDelaney.com. All right, so if you're like us and you have a TV in your RV, you may be thinking most of the time, hey, I'm camping, why would I want to watch TV? But unfortunately, there are times when we're out in our RV that we do want to watch TV, whether it's raining out, whether it's really cold, just a bad day, or maybe you just need a down day and you want to catch up on your favorite shows. But you may be wondering, what are my options? Well, if you have an RV with an antenna installed, obviously the first option is just to do a scan on your TV to find out if you can pick up any local networks. Now, for those of us who own a New Camp Tab 400, 320, or TAG, we don't have an antenna installed. And I'm gonna go ahead and link up here to a video I did about an external antenna that will plug in outside to your coax so you can find those local channels. But what happens if there are no local channels or maybe you're looking to watch something else? Well, let's talk about a few of your options. The most obvious is the DVD player that most of us have in our RVs. Usually your entertainment center, which will do AM and FM, will also do CD and DVD. And so you could bring along some DVDs from home to watch right here on your television. But maybe you wanna expand your selection a little further then the easiest way to do that is going to be looking at purchasing a device maybe like this Apple TV or this Amazon Fire Stick. Now, both of these are items that you could use both in your home and here in the RV with your TV. And what they're designed to do is really to stream television. So in order to use either of these, you are going to need some type of internet connection. Now, if you're staying at an RV park, it's possible, and I say possible, that they have internet that will allow you to stream. But what I've found over the years is most RV parks that have internet service typically don't want you streaming and they make sure of it by having such a low um, bandwidth that you really just can't stream. So then the real option becomes, can you use the internet on your cell phone? So if you're getting a good cell signal, it is possible to turn your cell phone, like my iPhone, into a hotspot, or maybe you carry an actual hotspot with your cell provider. And then we could use the data from our cell phone or our hotspot and stream to one of these devices. Word of caution though, check your data plan, because if you're not on an unlimited data plan and you start streaming shows either on YouTube or some streaming service, that could eat up your data very quickly and get very expensive. Now, we're on an unlimited plan through AT&T. I say unlimited, but there is a little caveat to that. The way our plan works is it is unlimited data, but once a single device, such as my iPhone, hits 22 gigabytes for the month, they do have the right to slow down our streaming service. The nice thing is it's per device, which means if Patty is carrying her cell phone, we can stream up to 44 gigabytes before we see any reduction in the speed. And the way these devices would work with your TV is it's really simple. Um, in the case of our TV, it's on a swivel arm and we would just unplug the HDMI that leads into our TV. Now this HDMI actually goes over to our DVD player. So once you unplug this, no longer will you have that option of DVD while it is unplugged. But we would just unplug our DVD player and then with the purchase of an HDMI cable, and I actually bought a six foot one. I like it a little bit longer so I have some room to work. I just plug this HDMI cable in, bring my TV back to front, and then what I can do is I can actually then use this cable to plug into a device such as my Apple TV. Now, both the um, Amazon Fire Stick and the Apple TV, and there's other devices out there, they require electricity. Now, 
If you have an inverter in your trailer like we do, you can plug these into the inverter, but just realize there will be a slight draw on your battery. So these are not gonna work if you're boondocking and don't have the option of some kind of inverter to provide power to them. Now with the Fire TV, all you have to do is actually, they provide you with this nice little adapter and I can actually plug this one directly in and don't even need this extra HDMI cable. Now I like both of these and again, if I hook my cell phone data plan up, I can use both of these devices to stream off of Netflix, Hulu, our DirecTV Now service, YouTube TV. There's lots of streaming services out there. Now, what I just recently decided was I didn't really want to carry a device like this um, because one, it's just an extra device that can fly around while we're traveling. And number two, I do have to then connect my internet to the device, which is just one more step. So what I decided to do was purchase one of these adapters for my iPhone. Now, even if you're not using an iPhone, I'm almost positive they're gonna make an adapter for your phone. But what this basically does is it plugs into my iPhone's lightning plug and it then provides me a place to plug in my HDMI cable. And now I can actually stream directly from my phone to the television. So that means I can do things like look at my photos that I took during the day. I can watch any videos that are on here. So a lot of times if we go camping, I'm probably gonna go ahead and download a movie or two that we might wanna watch on a rainy day and I can watch it directly into the TV. Uh, it also allows me to do things like use my TV here as a big old monitor if I'm working on editing. And it'll allow me to stream all of my favorite services like Netflix or DirecTV Now or YouTube TV. Or who knows, maybe I'll want to watch my favorite YouTube channel like Travels with Delaney. Well, okay, maybe we don't watch ourselves, but we do like watching some of our favorite channels like Keep Your Daydream or The Great Family Escape or The Runaway Roses. And we can do that now directly from my phone through my TV using this simple adapter. Now, this particular adapter is an Apple product and it was $45 at Walmart. I'm not saying you can't find a cheaper adapter, but I actually wanted to go ahead and get the iPhone adapter. The other nice thing I really like about this particular adapter is it also leaves me a place to plug in a charger so I'm not running down my cell phone while I'm watching movies or TV I can actually plug this in and keep it charged if I have a way to charge it so there's some options for you on how you could watch television um, whether it's through the antenna whether it's through an external device or whether you buy yourself an adapter to run your phone or iPad directly into your TV. You have lots of options now when you go camping. All right, do you watch TV when you go camping? And if so, how do you do it? Drop me a comment down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give us the big old thumbs up, share it with your friends, and until next time, everybody, we'll see you on down the road. Good night.